What could you create if you had 30 minutes to plan and four hours to build? The team at Google Gemini asked me, Sarah, Zayu, and Brian to build an app that helps us express our gratitude. So this is an AI thing. I thought I had like an actual problem and it turns out I'm just really bad at code. You know, you really just don't know what you're gonna get with Jason. They called it a fun but unconventional web framework. Is that what Gemini said about Bash that? Yeah, that's about accurate. We just did a little round of looking at each other's apps. Jason cried a little. Oh no, too many things are going wrong. Welcome to the Web Dev Challenge. Today, we are going to be working on building some apps that uh, help us show a little bit of gratitude. Our sponsor is Google Gemini, and to help us get a better idea of what it is, how it works, how we can use it, I'm gonna wheel in today's advisor, uh, Paige. Thank you so much for being here. Can you uh, maybe tell us a little bit about Gemini? Yeah, absolutely. And hopefully this will be filled with live demos as opposed to as opposed to slide decks. Uh, so I am going to AI Studio. This is really the best place where you can go to, to kind of interface with Google's latest models, um, to, to learn more about how to prompt Gemini, uh, and to also kind of get a, a handy way to export code um, for, for all of the, the Gemini APIs that we have available. Um, we have quite a few that you should have access to, including Gemini 1.5 Pro 002, which is our latest version of our largest Gemini model. If you're looking for capabilities, this is the one that you should probably prefer. We also have Gemini 1.5 Flash 002, which is the latest version of our fast, um, but still capable uh, Gemini model. So Gemini is multimodal, uh, which means that it can understand video, audio, text, uh, images, full code bases, all sorts of stuff, um, and all of the above all at once. Uh, it has a 2 million token context window for our largest model. And one of the nice things is, is that as you're experimenting with all of the great features in AI Studio, if you click this get code button, um, off to the right, um, the code that is used within the context of your AI Studio window um, is exportable for you. So, you know, you can export as uh, JavaScript, not TypeScript yet, um, but JavaScript is an option. Uh, Go, uh, Kotlin, Swift, Dart, uh, or, or Curl. As an example, let me just pull in uh, this American National History Tour and then say, please tell me uh, the different kinds of dinosaurs um, that are visible in this video. Yep, cool. And then here are the dinosaurs seen in the video um, and it, it kind of walks through and uh, for the 10 minute video tells you, um, tells you or five minute video tells you all of the things that are available. So we've got 30 minutes to come up with a plan for what we're gonna build today. And that 30 minutes starts right now. Oh, oh no, oh, wait, oh, okay, oh, okay. Wait, hold on. <laughs> First, I have to remember to sign back into Google. Uh oh. That's how I plan to use my 30 minutes. Was everybody thinking about this before they came in? I got I got swept up in a bunch of other stuff and I didn't think about this, so I don't even I don't even have like the beginning of a plan yet. So Well you have thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Sarah and I am a full stack bash developer. I'm thinking about building a thank you card generator app. I mean that already kind of exists, but I don't think anybody's like generating unique ones each time. Four hours is basically an infinite amount of time. I do a lot of um, game jams, and this is just a web app. Web apps are smaller than video games, I think. Right? <laughs> Does this have to work on IE6? <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively. You gotta go back to Netscape, actually. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, my name is Brian Holt, and uh, I'm a staff product manager for Neon. The plan is to do uh, a VS Code extension where there'll be like a little avatar on the bottom that uh, gives you like hype. It gets you really excited to like write more code. What part of the development process could be like your biggest challenge today? Probably sitting next to Jason. The guy's a little shifty. You know, you really just don't know what you're gonna get with Jason.
Oh, I'm getting fancy with it. Well, what do you got? I, I like got an iPad. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, writing notes on. down. <laughs> <laughs> I can get fancy. I don't think my pencil is charged though. Wait, you have <laughs> my cable. Your pencil has to be charged. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hi, hello, I'm Zayu. I'm from Los Angeles, California. My plan is to integrate the open source API and have people able to thank the, the libraries that they're using in their repositories, as well as the individual contributors uh, in those uh, repositories. I didn't really consider how smart it was for me to choose Neon, considering you're sitting right next to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and legally obligated to give you help. <laughs> now I'm just going to try really silly stuff so that you have to support me instead of building your own app. Sounds, sounds great. <laughs> so what I'm going to try to do is make a, like a thank you note app. Like the scope is narrow, but it's services that I have to wire together that I haven't used before. So we're gonna see if I can make it work. I would say polish is probably gonna be the biggest thing today because I, I think I can get it to function, but I don't wanna hit that thing that I've, I've hit a couple times where I, I get to the end and I basically have like a completely unstyled app. Um, I wanna try to have a little bit more of a tightly scoped functionality so that I can get something that looks nice and feels nice to use on, in addition to being uh, functional. Hi. How do I upload a like code repo to Gemini? So what you can do on GitHub is you can click this uh, this little right. green part and then click download zip. Um, and then once you download the folder, the best and easiest path is to upload it to drive. Um, and if you get tired of just doing that, then there's another, uh, there's a GitHub library called repo to text that just turns an entire repo into a text file. And you can add that. Um, this is probably the most robust way, to be honest. Okay, everybody feeling good? You got a plan? From here, we have four hours to build and your four hours starts right now. Asking it to use an obscene amount of Tailwind classes. And now add more. <laughs> <laughs> more Tailwind classes. <laughs> so they're both in Vim, and we're in... VS Code. VS Code. This, this has now become a bit of a battle. Yeah, it's, it feels like it's inverted, like the, the younger ones have, have gone towards... I know. <laughs> Vim. And, and the, the old... Is this, is this like, Vim is like bell-bottom pants? It's, like <laughs> <laughs> it's come back around to being cool again. That's a big button. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, too many things are going wrong. Too many things are going wrong. I just want to see what you're working on right now. Well, right now I was trying to figure out why when I try to load the image, there's no image. I don't know, it, this seems like an, I don't know, do you speak uh, that? It looks like an image to me. Yeah, that, that seems, yeah. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> But yeah, otherwise the app is going good. It looks good, even though it doesn't work. I mean, it looks great. <laughs> yeah, no, I love it. I'm, I'm super happy about it. <laughs> what, what, what even is your project? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a VS Code extension. You can see. <gasps> There's a dog. There's a dog. There's a dog. Uh, right now the dog doesn't do anything. What's the plan for the dog? What is it supposed to do? So the, the dog's gonna like watch you code for a little while and right. then it's gonna read it and then it's gonna provide some sort of feedback on what you're doing. Is it gonna hype you up while you're coding it? Yeah. Uh, that would be pretty meta. I should, I should definitely you should do, do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to, I picked the, the, the hardest part of the project to start first, which is a mistake. But the idea is that the repository, when you search it up, um, you could get the SBOM result, which is the Software Bill of Materials. 
um, and then from there it's going to list it, right? And then uh, once you have like a list of S-bombs, you could press the generate button and then it's going to give you a thank you note per library. Be like, thanks TypeScript. Oh, that's cool. Thanks React. I've been kind of working on the, the basic functionality. So I got like a list here and then I've got login working. Um, okay. And what I'm trying to do now, like I've got I've got things going into and out of the database, right? So okay. this is this is Neon. So clerk is how I'm doing the user account. And so my next step is actually sending email. So I'm plugging in resend right now. And I just got that set up. Uh, okay. Like the actual client is set up. Is this and Astro? Yeah, you're doing Yeah, Astro. so I'm doing it all in Astro. Okay. And I'm I'm pulling in the client now so that I can send the email. Feels like we're we're moving in the right direction. Things are working. Mm, yeah. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> 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 I'm a dumbass. My endpoint finally stopped erroring um, because I forgot an equal sign. <laughs> I don't want to bug you all. Did I miss anything? Is everything okay? We, we just did a little round of, uh, of looking at each other's apps. It's all good. Jason cried a little. I did, I did but it's, <laughs> we'll edit that part out. No, the fuck we won't. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what a turkey looks like. Oh yeah, you you nailing it. I thought I had like an actual problem, and it turns out I'm just really bad at code. <laughs> Touch your hand when you're like. Wait, am I the bad guy here? No, I was like, I was legitimately like, I was like, man, I think I found a bug in Astro. <laughs> and no, I just was, I was expecting an email and like hadn't turned off the validation for it when I changed the inputs. So. Sounds like an Astro problem to me. Hi, it's me. <laughs> I'm the problem. It's me. I have no idea what any of this code means and I wrote it. Should we see what the dog has to say about the bash script? Yes. Hopefully the dog says it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with it. Some possum shell scripting, my dude. Really digging how you handled both file input and direct string manipulation. So what does it say about your actual code? <laughs> Should we see? <laughs> <laughs> Should we have Hype can you Dog? Run it? Can you run Hype Dog on Hype Dog? Sure can. Let's see what Hype Dog says about Hype Dog. Some positive reinforcement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some snazzy TypeScript. That get hype is <laughs> fetching. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm done. I'm gonna chill. I think I'm done too. I'm good to go. I should restart the terminal. I did it. With. It's not. It's not good, but it works. <laughs> like, seven seven seconds seconds I'll take good. it with my. Yeah, maybe I can add one more piece here. <laughs> Go for it. Uh oh. It worked. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yay. <laughs> Woo! Okay, we did it, everyone. Yeah. Woo! If this looks like fun, head to this URL right here. I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right, so my, my idea was to give people a way to send a thank you note to somebody. And I decided that I would actually like in certain cases if I'm sending somebody a thank you note, a way to just kind of post it publicly so you can go scroll through what other people have said and, and just, you know, just kind of feel good even if you're not actually part of it. So what I ended up doing was I actually had uh, Gemini write a lot of this code for me. So this form was generated completely by Gemini. It was styled completely by Gemini. And then I copied some of the styles around. What I'm going to do is I'm actually, I'm using resend under the hood. So I'm going to grab the test email from resend so that we can send one of those. And so you get one of these and you say, you know, like, thanks for being a friend. And then uh, you send off something that says like, you know, I think you're super neat. And then you can choose to post this publicly. So we hit send. Is resend your only friend? 
Resend is my only friend. <laughs> but this, look. I yeeted Whoa. it for you, specifically. Um, and then you can go through to see all your public notes. And I made them just kind of look like this, so you can, uh, you can send them off. But you do have the option, if you want, to uh, not post it publicly. So by default, they're, they're private. You have to explicitly opt in to make it public. So this is just kind of the, the baseline markup for what we're doing here. It's uh, this form was generated by Gemini, and then I had all the styles were generated by Gemini. I like that it added some notes for me that was like, hey, maybe you don't want it to be like this. And I was like, Gemini, I think you care more than I do. So <laughs> I set up Neon as my database, and that was actually a lot easier than I expected. So that went really, really quickly and just set up a basic schema, you know, sender, recipient, subject, body. And for my email, I'm using resend, and I just used their API endpoint instead of reaching for an SDK or anything because it's super straightforward. I just send in the email that I want to send. And uh, one thing I did have to do was I, I grabbed one of my many domains that I've purchased and added the DNS record so that uh, it would actually send. I worked with like, Astro Actions. So I set it up to accept the form input directly. Then you get them all here in the handler. So I was able to send the email, make sure that I got an email response. If you post it publicly, we post it through to uh, the Neon database. And on this index page, I can check up here for what the result was of the action and then make choices based on that. So if there's a result, then I do this kind of animation thing. Um, I drew all this in, in Figma. That was a probably an hour of my time <laughs> well and then animated all this doing a ton of keyframe animations and things down here and I tr I tried to get Gemini to do this and and Gemini and CSS animations did not get along very well through a very abstract lens it was kind of what I asked for but <laughs> but this this was all lovingly handcrafted CSS I, I, it, it went well and also was maybe a downside I scoped so small like I didn't have any trouble hitting my scope but also I was was like, boy, I did not even sort of deliver at the same level as everybody else today. <laughs> so I built uh, your own personal hype man for your coding editor, or in my case, uh, a hype dog, because I wanted to look at a dog and not a person. Yeah, here we go. Do you want to see it? Absolutely. Cool. And you can see we got our hype dog off there on the left side, <laughs> just chilling. And let's open some code. So what do you think Hype Dog wants to say? So you can see he's reading the code. That's why he moves his head around. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can see he's, he's being playful right now. So Wowzers oh. is possum. <laughs> I'm absolutely tail wagging with excitement. Look at all these cleverly named functions like PN. <laughs> <laughs> you might want something a little bit more harsh. So I did build a different mode in here where we can go to Pomeranian mode. So uh, the Pomeranian <laughs> is... <laughs> I just saw the first line. It's far less happy about your code. But I did pull some code from Sarah. I, oh. <laughs> oh, you got, oh. Yeah, wow. this is good code. Uh, who would you like? Do you want the hype dog? Or Wait, do were there other ones, or is it just these two? So I, I, I actually made four. I want the wolf. Let's see what the wolf says about Sarah's code. It's going to read it really quick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. So the, the wolf is completely unhinged. Yep. The wolf is totally wolf. insane. That, that's what I was going for. Not a bad idea. I might. Can you send me those suggestions? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I can just open PRs with, yeah. with comments on here. Yeah. And let's go ahead and get the last one in here, which is a Shiba Inu. <laughs> and let's see what the Shiba has to say about this. Such wow, very bad. Much danger. Much <laughs> danger. <laughs> uh, so, building VS Code extensions is pretty easy. Um, so you just come into your package.json, you kind of declare what, what you're going to do. So I, you know, a couple of commands, the view, and some other things, and you know, give it a description. Yo, Doug, I heard you like coding. <laughs> That's a throwback meme. <laughs> <laughs> you come in here, you kind of define what you do. When it calls hype, you call hype. Um, and then down here, we are using a function called get hype. 
which is coming from Google Cloud Vertex AI, which is uh, some of the fun Gemini stuff that we've been doing. You can see I'm, I'm using the Flash 002 model here, which is pretty cool. You give it some system instructions, tell it what programming language that they're using at the moment, and then you just pass them the code. So um, this does pass all of your code every single time to Google. So if you have a problem with that, this is, might not be the best extension for you. Pretty good. All right, so let me show you the prompts. The golden was extremely positive to the point of being delusional. The wolf is speaking all caps, you're unhinged. And I just told uh, the Pomeranian to be a total dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Shiba, it just felt important to say, you are Doge. I didn't even think of the idea of like building a dev tool for VS Code or something like that. It turned out really cool, yeah. the hype dog. Uh, my app is actually kind of similar to Jason's. I wanted to make a thank you card generator. So the premise is that it uses Gemini to create the text and also a prompt that it sends to Stable Diffusion to create an image to put on the front of your card. So our forms look very similar. Let's see, who should we who should we make a card from? I wanna send a card from me to Jason and say, thanks for hosting the Web Dev Challenge. And then I'm gonna click the button. So this is the card that it generated. Uh, thanks for hosting the Web Dev Challenge. It's got an image of, yep, it's got an image. <laughs> um, and <laughs> we can click it. Oh, we get some confetti. confetti. And it says, Jason, thanks so much for hosting the Web Dev Challenge. It was an awesome event with brilliant challenges. Okay, there's a lot of text here. <laughs> the whole experience was such a positive and supportive atmosphere and I enjoyed it so much. Heartfelt. I definitely wrote those words, <laughs> not the computer. That's really nice, Sarah. But you can open it as many times as you want. You just refresh. You can... <laughs> so many times. <laughs> That's a feature. Uh, so let's look at the code real quick. Uh, of course, we're using Bash Stack, um, because why wouldn't you if you're building a web app in 2024? Um, so we, we've got like the file-based routing going on with the everything in our pages folder. Um, index is just kind of like the, the form, just a lot of tailwind that Gemini very graciously wrote for me, um, mixed with some stuff I stole from CodePen. The bulk of the code is in generate. Uh, we make our first request to the Gemini model. Um, we say generate text for a thank you card with all this information, and it's like a really long prompt, but um, and then once we get the response, we use the, um, the structured response thing okay. um, to ask for like a specific JSON object back. This is where we forward it to Stable Diffusion and then save the image to a file. And this line's kind of cool. It just uses image magic to find like a uh, most common color within the image to make the background of the card. And the last main page is the, just the one uh, that views the, uh, the card, which is, again, just like a lot of tailwind. This is also some handcrafted CSS animations because Gemini did try. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like, I always think when you're, because you talk about Bash, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's for shitposting. And then you... <laughs> build fully functional web apps in Bash and yeah. oh wait, it's not just for shit posting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is what whoa, whoa, whoa. the author had it's in also, mind. Yeah. It's elaborate uh, shit posting. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean what Sarah was doing with Bash and just how she was, you know, bending it to her will was I found super, super impressive. Like I it's a terrible idea too, but it's like terrible in a lovely way. So my project is a little simple. It's called hashtag thank a dev. Uh, as you can see here, we got, we got a cute little turkey. For our proof of concept here, you search a repository and it'll give you an SBOM. So that's the software bill of materials, um, which I got from the open source uh, API endpoint. So for example, I have this project called Gust. Um, and if I press search, there you go. So if I scroll down a little bit, you can see 
all of the dependencies that I have here. As you can see here, we have a generates notes button. So if I press that, it'll take a minute, but we have the name of the repository, the description, and then the note that um, Gemini created for us. And this is for every single one of our uh, dependencies here. Um, so let's say um, we're using Svelte. So this one says, thank you Svelte team for creating Svelte. It's a revolutionary approach to web development. And you could see at the bottom right here, we have a tweet button. And if you press that, it'll go ahead and try and tweet from you with a hashtag thank a dev. Um, oh. So, you know, sometimes we use a lot of libraries and packages um, will, all willy nilly. So this is like a little project to kind of uh, show our appreciation to the, to the library authors. I'm using the Svelte 5 preview. So you could see here a lot of the runes like bindable and props. But as you can see here, we have like a little derived by. So when the subject changes, that's like when you press the button, it actually sets it uh, sets the subject from the search term. And then once that goes through, um, it gets the information and the S bomb. Uh, and then from there, if we load a little, if we go down a little further, you can see we have generate notes here and it's a form. And then this right here is a Svelte action. So you can see I'm using the uh, Google AI uh, package here, um, making a new model using 1.5 flash. And then using Svelte actions, I get the form data, which is just the subject, and then a um, JSON stringified array um, of all those repositories off the SBOM. And then I went ahead and did a quick prompt here with this little return schema. I didn't know there was like a response schema thing. So we just, we just went with it. Um, and then it brings it back to the front page. And then from there, it's just a matter of, we just go through each one. Um, and then we have the tweet button here, which just has a little uh, URL to Twitter slash intent slash tweet with just the thank you note and the hashtag thank a dev. Three, two. Being able to goof around while making entire products was definitely a great experience. The integration with open source and Gemini worked perfectly. Uh, and even though I don't have like a lot of features, the fact that it was working was like amazing. <laughs> I think the whole thing went well. I don't know. I think I'm pretty happy with the app that I built. Most of my like development process is like completely without AI generally. I definitely leaned on it more today than I usually do. <laughs> Today was actually the first day that I've tried to let an LLM write my code for me. And I'm getting a better idea of how I can leverage it to, to cut out just time spent on stuff that isn't super important that LLMs are really good at. So I think I'll be, I'll be leaning into that a little more in the future. I was just really impressed with what everyone else was able to pull off today. Jason didn't harass me too much from the side, which is good. Uh, played some good defense there. What Paige was showing us with the uh, Google AI Studio, all that stuff I didn't know and I found really impressive.